Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today for this quick webinar. And I wanted to talk to you today about hosting online meetings. Now, there are two types of online meetings. There is a teleclass and there's a webinar. A teleclass is really just that. It's a meeting that is held over the phone. A lot of times what people use is freeconferencecall.com because that's free and it's really easy to use. Free conference call is really nice and you can show slides and I believe you can show video as well, but registrants have to sign up, they have to make a long distance phone call and they have to use it that way. So it's not always the best use of having a conference call. However, the thing about it is that whenever you're just starting out, having a teleclass can be a little bit easier because you can have a script with you and although you don't want to talk like you are reading off of a script and you certainly don't want to read off a script having a little guideline right there with you would be helpful for the teleclass i prefer to have live video webinars like this one yay this one i'm doing on a system called zoom and zoom conference is a live conference and the difference what a webinar means is really just video a teleclass is telephone webinar is video there are so many things i love about zoom that i actually purchased the little bit of an upgraded package so that i could have more bells and whistles to use for my video trainings I'm gonna tell you today a little bit more about Zoom, and I'm also gonna give you some tips to make a really good video training for people. I use Zoom video for training. I use it for classes for people that are just for conversations. I also use it for one-on-one -on -one coaching with people because I like to record it, and then I am able to send all the awesome ideas that we come up with back to whomever that I'm working with. I also use it for masterminds because whenever I'm using Zoom, for masterminds, the people in the class that could actually get to see their faces all around the screen like this, and we can have a live conversation with multiple people. It's pretty cool. So the thing I wanna to talk to you about are some tips when you're doing a video webinar like this one. First off is lighting. When I did my first couple of Zoom videos, I didn't have really great lighting. And what happened is when you have lighting behind you, but not in front of you, your face is really dark. The room behind you is very light. So now today I have light right in front of me. You can see my face pretty good. And I'm gonna show you all that it is. It's an old lamp that wasn't being used with the light bulb in it. And I took the shade off so that I can get better lighting. I didn't even have to spend any money to get this beautiful lighting. Although eventually I would like to have one of those beautiful lights with the fancy umbrellas. That'd be really cool. But for day, my 50 cent yard sale lamp works just fine. I'm glad I didn't sell it in the last yard sale. The next thing that I love to use is my professional microphone. Isn't this so super cute? It's called the Blue Snow Globe. And I use this professional microphone because it just makes the sound of the audio so much better. I didn't pay very much money for that blue microphone, but it makes me feel really special and it makes the audio for you sound really good as well. Another thing that you wanna know whenever you are doing a video webinar like this is that you wanna make sure that you fix your hair so it's nice, you, you don't look like you just woke up out of bed, put a little bit of makeup on if you're a lady. If you're a guy, maybe you wanna put on a little bit of powder to keep you from looking, looking shiny. But for the ladies, you wanna put a little bit of extra makeup on, more than you usually put on because likely you're not gonna see much of it anyway. I mean, can you tell? Dolly doesn't look like I have much makeup on. Yes, I have my mascara on, but I don't have too much. I have makeup on, which you can't really see it that well. But you definitely don't want to look like you're washed out and like you haven't prepared and been professional for the meeting. And the next thing is, what are you going to dress in? <clears throat> well, this is a little bit crazy because I've got some stripes. It could be a little bit harder to see. It's definitely not, you definitely, when if you're on television, you definitely do not want to wear something with stripes. More solid colors is better. But I like to wear a little something with a collar so that it looks nice. Now, where you place the video camera? Well, I'm using the video camera from my laptop. It's right there in front of me, so I'm just looking right in it, and I can see it there. 
The thing is, you could have a regular video, a webcam that goes on your computer, and that's fine. I'd really love to have that because I think if you raise it higher, it makes you look like you're about 10 pounds less. That would be very, very cool. But for me today, I'm just going to use the laptop. And so I have it about mm, 12 to 18 inches away from my face. I want you to get a full picture of my face, but I don't want to be like way in your face like this. And I don't want to be too far back in the room like this. Next thing, background. Would really be great if I could spend a little bit of money and have a big old white screen behind me and then I can record my presentations and even put PowerPoints up and or words up here on top. That'd be really cool. But I'm just starting out so for me this is fine. Something in the back that's not very distracting or a really nice background could be with some plants and a couple pictures. I have some pictures back there. But see, that could be distracting as I'm talking, so I just keep my head in front of the pictures. Also on the webinar, you could have a few notes in front of you. Now, I haven't used any of the notes yet, but I do have a few notes sitting right up here in front of me, just in case I get lost in my presentation and I don't want to really stop too long for my presentation, although I can stop and take a breath right now, and I'm going to ask you to take a breath too. There. Wasn't that nice? Okay, let's move on. I can tend to talk really fast, as all of my friends and Toastmasters know. So one of the things about a webinar that you want to take note is not to talk too fast, because everybody's still trying to follow what you're saying. Make sure you breathe in and out. And talk a little bit slower so that people can stay with you in your conversation. Let's see, what else? I had one more tip. It was one more really juicy tip I wanted to make sure that what you knew. Oh, yes. Here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, get your pencils and paper out because you'll definitely want to remember this in case you don't remember anything else that I said earlier today. When you're doing a webinar, make sure that you have eliminated all of the outside noise. I have dogs, four dogs, and I have been on a webinar before and didn't barricade them out of my room. And the dogs came in and started barking and going crazy, and nobody on the webinar knew what was going on. Thankfully, it was a free webinar, not of something that somebody was paying me to do. But I kept the dog, I make sure now that I block the dogs out. I do whatever I can to keep those suckers out of my room because I want a professional environment for my webinars. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to give more educational messages, if you would like to use education for marketing, or you have a group of people who you are working with that are, is across the whole country, or maybe even the globe, a teleclass or a video webinar is a really, really great thing to use. Please, if you've got any more questions on how I do my webinars using Zoom or anything else, Give me a call, send me an email, jennifer at darlingcoaching.com, jennifer at darlingcoaching.com. Good luck with your teleclasses and your webinars.